really coming out hot this morning on mm. the papers across uh, Nigeria. Let's start with the Punch newspaper. We have the federal government OK's fresh 200, uh, 28 billion naira budget support loan for 35 states. And each state is supposed to get 800 million naira to pay salaries and others. Mm -hmm. Now, this, is, this can be regarded as another bailout. Bail and the reason for this, again, is the issue of salaries. Mm. It, it's, it's so... It's so uh, uh, sometimes it, it can be very confusing because uh, the, the first and second bailout and the money is from the Paris Club refund Reform. and all of that... Mm -hmm. Some of the states are still owing salaries in, as much as seven, eight, eight months. Months, exactly. And pensioners, mm. and it, it brings to mind again the sad incidents uh, in uh, Kogi State when a uh, civil mm. servant had to commit suicide. Suicide. And then another pensioner, you know, she did as well because they just didn't get what was mm. owed to, to them. Mm. And then this money being re uh, released uh, uh, by the federal government to 35 states of the federation. The, the, the question many are asking already is, how will they expend this one? And will they truly, will the state governors inject the money into the appropriate uh, channels? A, a lot of people are even blaming holding the federal government responsible. You know, the point there is, if, if, the, if you're giving out support to people and the person is not as um, credit worthy in expending the monies, mm. the next time you're giving, you should, you should actually monitor how the money is used. Yes, uh, of course, uh, that, that the issue of uh, monitoring uh, exactly. how, how the monies are expendable then. States are supposed to be, uh, to a large extent, independent. Uh, now, the point there is, question. you're supposed to be independent, and you're coming to me for help. I can have my conditions. Mm. The federal government can, because that's not statutory anymore. It's, it's not. It's is, is an assistance, mm -hmm. uh, it's an aid. Mm. So if the government says, if the federal government says, okay, I'm going to give you this money, yes, to help you, but this is the condition, mm. will you agree to it? Yeah, so, well, so you're, you're right. That yeah, becomes a condition, right. because yes. the point there is that the, 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 the workers, the civil servants and pensioners who don't have access to all of these things are the ones suffering in the first place. I, indeed, and then, well, uh, apart from that, you know, like we know, there are different lists, three lists, uh, in, in our constitution, the exclusive, residual, and concurrent list. Mm -hmm. And then somehow, when you start setting uh, um, parameters, sort of, before you do what you're supposed to do, backed by the constitution, mm -hmm. it means that you're usurping power, kind of. Now, the, the point there is, when it comes to statutory responsibilities, <laughs> Certainly, the concept of federal government giving loans to, to mm. the state governments is mm. not part of the whole mix. It's, a, it's, an extra, um, it's an extra contingency plan to ensure that the system survives. But then the federal government gets loans as well. And, yeah, federal government gets get loans federal government. from IMF, World Bank, with all the conditions. And internally as well. Exactly. But the point <laughs> there is... Well, <laughs> so but you but the point there, there's house, something... You have to clean your house first before no, you but, come but, to, but to for me the to interest, say that clean for, the, for the interest of the workers who mm. have not been paid, and especially True. when the states have not been responsible enough. Mm. That's, that's where we're talking about. Mm. If they were paying the monies and giving, paying salaries, there wouldn't have been problems. Indeed. Now, what is even more interesting about this is that Lagos State is the only state not taking this loan. In, absolutely. And then it brings to mind again ma what many have been saying, especially now that the country practically crawled out of recession, mm. the need for them to be self-reliant, the need for them to generate funds internally mm. and not go cap in hand to the federal government every time for this, especially to get loans to pay salaries. To pay salaries. Now, you're not going to get It's not sustainable at all. And then we have uh, Mainasti receiving salary. Lawyer mm. tells rep, we were, were watching the report earlier mm. on, 222 properties seized from pension thieves shared, Senate alleges. Mm. And now we can see the Minister of uh, Interior, in, in Internal Affairs or Interior, Interior Abdurrahman Dambazal. We see the Minister of Justice, uh, Mal Malami. Mm. And then we see the lawyer of uh, Mena. There, there was yeah, a there was thing. It, it seemed like there was some kind of drama yeah. in the house. It was <laughs> quite dramatic, really. It was <laughs> dramatic to watch. <laughs> and then one more headline here says, uh, aviation sector will benefit from a $2 billion AFBD facility. That's the African Development Bank mm. as a federal government. You mm. know, remember, we, we talked about aviation about a few days ago where the, uh, the president was saying that he's under pressure uh, to, to float, float a national, a national carrier. carrier. And of course, it seems that a lot is going to uh, happen pretty soon or is gradually happening in the in aviation sector, mm. uh, knowing that apart from the, the pressure being mounted on the president mm. to float a national carrier, the airports are going to be, uh, you know, uh, refurbished kind of um, judging from the concession and plan of the mm. federal government as an But there are still president. issues with the unions because Indeed. they're saying it's not really clear mm -hmm. what part of the uh, uh, airports are you concessioning mm -hmm. because it is not advisable to concession every part of the airpo uh, airport to 
private, private hands, hands for, you know, security for security reasons. reasons. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, let's go to the next paper now, and that's the nation. Uh, so we're going to kind of try to give details uh, to the story, which you, uh, one of the stories on the front page yeah. of the punch, and that's on uh, the Malami and the Maina uh, story. Uh, the Attorney General of the Federation was credited saying that 222 assets recovered by Maina shared among government officials, others. Maina still still in service, says lawyer, EFCC recovered assets, EFCC recovered assets intact. Now the story is the Attorney General uh, leveled an allegation, a huge one, corruption <laughs> allegation against uh, the EFCC and top officials yeah. in, in the anti-corruption corruption agency, saying that uh, the Maina Pension Reform Panel recovered about 222 uh, posh properties mm. across Nigeria. But somehow, uh, EFCC and top officials within EFCC and even some prominent Nigerians with links with the EFCC shared the properties amongst th themselves. Now, the, the Senate panel uh, probing this uh, whole drama has already called for investigation to see, to, to check the relooting mm. of the, the looting of the loot. <laughs> of, like the relooting <laughs> of, of, of the loot uh, recovered <laughs> by uh, the Rashid Miners uh, presidential uh, pension reform um, panel. So that is going to be ongoing. And they've even extended uh, the sitting of the panel for yeah. robust uh, uh, you know, investigation. But then head of civil service, uh, Oyo Ita, said that she didn't uh, uh, authorize the, the statement of Maina mm. uh, Malami, who many thought, uh, after seeing so many documents, even online, uh, said that he didn't authorize uh, Maina's reinstatement as well. And then Maina's lawyer uh, you know, uh, came out to say that he was never sacked. It, so pretty but, much but an technically, he, he was he was said to have absconded Conded. from from work. Mm -hmm. So he was not officially said. There wasn't any letter mm -hmm. saying he has been dismissed. Mm -hmm. So the concept of reinstatement shouldn't even have Absol uh, occurred absolutely, in the first place. Absolutely. That's why the concept of they were asking him. So uh, are you saying that all the while may not, may not takes salaries or collect salaries every month over the years? Should I answer the question? Categorically. Qu Should you not answer the question categorically? It was really dramatic. <laughs> but, but it's really, True. you know, these are the things Nigerians sit at home mm -hmm. and watch. And mm -hmm. they become very disappointed. They become very um, dissatisfied with True. the system. Because True. in all of this drama, it seemed like... Uh, we're still going back and forth mm. about corruption, corruption because all the people who should stand against and say, no, it shouldn't be, it shouldn't mm -hmm, be. Mm -hmm. You hear one story from this, you hear another, another counter from here. You hear, so who better. do we believe? Now, the concept of the, the issue of the letter, where did the letter reinstating me now came and from? The where did, where did it come the, from? The Sorry. highest power, the authority to mm. actually allow Maina back into the service. That, that, that letter went viral everywhere. And it was signed with, names, with a name and a signature, and, and you can't trace and, where and that came from, and you can't get the person to say, okay, where did you do this? Absolutely. And then the, because the Minister of Interior is saying it didn't come from me, uh, the Head Minister of, of Justice is, is not come from me, Head of Service says it didn't come not from me. So where did it approach. come from? Indeed. Well, you know. and from this corruption uh, saga to another one just brewing, a centenary project, I am wife to account for 13.1 billion naira. 20 firms also under probe. And now, I uh, recall just d days ago, the mm. former secretary to the government of the Federation under the, uh, the Good Luck Jonathan administration mm. uh, was called in by the EFCC, or well, was later released, though his passport mm. uh, was seized. Now, is going to face uh, this probe of the centenary project uh, alongside his wife and 20 firms and uh, his wife is said to own one of the firms and she was given more than 800 million naira for uh, giving services in kind mm. in kind okay. i just have to say that right. so that is uh, a developing story because the uh, firms the private firms that uh, that indicates that interest in cashing in on the centenary project were asked to pay about five million dollars mm. each and um, Somehow. Now, if you the go to the site, if you go to the site things. in Abuja where the centenary uh, project is 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 being um, erected, originally from the master plan you see and from what has been built, it's it looks really beautiful. It was really when very, they started the campaign. Very mm. beautiful mm. when they started the campaign. Mm. What they told Nigerians, mm. it was a it was a place you would have loved to, and you would have the pride. It's just like when you see some of the skyscrapers in Dubai, you're mm -hmm. like, wow, this is mm -hmm. beautiful. Or maybe in New York. Mm -hmm. or, And that was what we were looking forward True. to, that night Abuja was going to have that. Mm. And to hear that uh, there are scandals and all of that, so these are the things making Nigerians not to trust the system. Absolutely. And then uh, it's in record that uh, the former president, Goodluck Jonathan, disregarded the opinions of uh, the FCT minister mm. 
and the, <coughs> excuse me, the Attorney General of the Federation of Visa Administration at that time not to listen to uh, Ayim Pai Asayim on the Centenary Project. So we are looking into it now. Uh, I think there's another story atop here, top left of the nation newspaper. Before we go to the next one, mm. uh, federal government to bring back 38 toll gates. Okay. Um, <laughs> yes, they were in place before, <laughs> then they were removed. Now, uh, now we're going back to it. Exactly. Because yeah. that, that's according to the uh, minister, the super minister of Nigeria, uh, minister of uh, works, housing, and uh, of course, uh, infrastructure, uh, mm. uh, saying that uh, after highways, uh, completion of highway projects in country, across the country, 38 toll gates will be put in place and they will be manned by uh, private companies and they are going to go uh, tech, uh, tech, technical. Uh, they are going to use technology so that uh, road users will be able to pay uh, via their phones. Mm -hmm. oh. Well, the point, the issue of uh, 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 tolls, Nigerians certainly wouldn't want to hear mm -hmm. that anymore. Mm -hmm. we, we remember how everything went that, that time. Mm -hmm. Even though tolls were being paid, roads were not being we're not repaired, yeah. uh, and so on. So and going that was back the reason to, you gave for that, that yeah. the monies uh, got through that uh, means would be used to maintain, to maintain the, roads. the roads. But uh, if, if you have not been, that's why we talk about mm -hmm. credibility. credibility. If you've not been credible over In time. In the past, true. Government is a continuum. Mm -hmm. we, we, Nigerians wouldn't want to, okay, fine. The, a different person was there at that time, a different person. That's not, it's not about it. It's mm -hmm. about government. Mm -hmm. It's until you come to clear up and know and show Nigerians that you are credible mm -hmm. and you are going to do this thing the way it's supposed to be. That is when they'll start trusting the system. Uh, absolutely. And right. then, of course, uh, they say that they are taxpayers. And when you put in mind the game that uh, millions of Nigerians are civil servants and mm -hmm. the ones that are not civil servants are earning less than 50,000, exactly. 30,000 exactly. naira monthly. And then they tell you that. 18,000. Let's put it minimum okay, wage. 18,000. Don't, 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 uh, uh, minimum uh, wage is 18,000. 18, that's, that's anyway. the thing. Because 18,000 is the peg. That, if you want so to sad. make all the calculations, it's 18,000. True. That is, that is the, mm. all right, let's go to the Sun newspaper now. Can of worms over Mena. We've talked about this. And mm. the, the picture boldly there is uh, the picture in the, the, in the hometown of, uh, 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 former Vice President uh, Alex Ekweme, Dr. Alex Ekweme, who died mm. recently uh, in Oku, Anambra State, mm. and the businesses are under lock to mourn the former Vice President. Uh, we have uh, uh, Dizyani's extradition possible. That's the UK saying that. Now, with this story, a lot of Nigerians have been, because Dizyani, is, the lawyer of, of Dizyani has, mm. has said that, well, we request to be extradited to Nigeria so mm -hmm. we can face our charges there since all the cases, most of the cases emanate from there. But True. Nigerians are saying, no, don't, don't bring him back. You can, you can, you can prosecute Even him, ESC prosecute him hard there. there. Exactly, yeah. because the, po the moment he comes back to Nigeria, the Nigerian factor sets uh, in the and then factor comes to play. Is, is always, uh, and then the always you, a strong because factor. Because the more you look, the less you the see. The less kind you of understand, <laughs> you know. All right, all right now we have uh, South East South South roads worst in Nigeria. Federal government admits that and toll gates to return. We've talked about that. Mm -hmm. and, and really, when it comes to the issue of roads, now the roads, what it takes to construct road in the South because of the swampy, because of the rains, because mm -hmm. of the. Uh, texture of, of the kind of soil Very in the soft. south in the southern part mm. it is more expensive sometimes mm. two three times more expensive mm. than the roads in the north, in, in the north because of the land. weather and mm. all of that as the case may be so I, I hope that government is but looking then it still does it doesn't justify uh, the neglect no 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 the certainly not certainly not saying that certainly uh, not the, it of, doesn't of country, justify they anything have the right to yeah. enjoy mm. everything being provided by the government of exactly. any nation well those are from uh, stories from the daily sun Okay, so we go to the Vanga. The same minor uh, saga is the major story here, so we leave that. Mm -hmm. And then go to, okay, yeah, the South, South, South East story, roads and abandonments there as well. So we go to the story immediately after the, uh, that one. PDP wants chairmanship aspirants against verbal attacks. Mm -hmm. Now, PDP is a political party that claims to uh, have reformed itself, uh, looking forward to 2019. It, it, is, re it is reforming is itself. It exactly. It's in the process. process. <laughs> it's always in the process. And somehow uh, things are even looking worse. Uh, than uh, expected because uh, you have the chairman of the caretaker committee, Makarafina, embroiled in uh, allegation of having interest in the presidential mm. uh, ticket and then uh, not, no longer ceding the chairmanship uh, ticket to the Southeast, then uh, things started happening. Well, Bode George is calling for the resignation of Makarafi. Makarafi mm. says that, no, you can't ask me to do that. Oh, the point, the, I, yeah. I don't have an interest. Yeah. Now, they are being warned to stop engaging in verbal attacks. In other words, don't wash your dirty linen. 
in public. But even besides that, it is all of these attacks, verbal, this verbal. Those are the things that incite people, mm. and it is not. It's not. You remember the issue of the hate speeches we sure, were talking about sure. earlier on. Now the point there is, uh, the acting chairman Makarfi has said that he has been zoned. We've zoned the presidency to the north and then the chairmanship to the south, mm. and see, because the presidency they zoned to the north, they didn't say he's going to go to northwest or go to northeast or go to north central. Mm. Now they have divided the divided it into two. One goes somewhere, the other goes the other place. So it is left for the politicians within the zone to think so, of how to, you mm. know, jiggle it. So there's no point micro zoning it again <laughs> to say, okay, he has to go to. But the, no, but then when it comes so, to politics, any anyhow, it, it depends on. Um, what works for any uh, any party? Uh, you hear some saying that consensus. That is once no, no, no. We allow consensus, the, the point we is consensus. To to this consensus always doesn't work in many places. Does the reason is because when you have too many powerful, for instance, for a political party like like the PDP has mm. too many strong men, too many powerful men within mm. the system who are not ready to bow down for each other and all mm. of that. Now the point there is when you talk about consensus. That is going not to go down well with so many people. So it is better you use the, the system that everybody knows. You went, we all went to the polls, and this is what the outcome well, is. That's, that's how how it's supposed to be. That's how it's given, supposed to be. Is that how it's been in Nigerian politics? And then you know that uh, there are no permanent enemies. There are always permanent. Now what 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 what, <laughs> what a lot of analysts are saying is if if, if they've zoned this the chairmanship to the south, it is left for the politicians in the southwest, south south, and southeast to sit down and decide how to, you know, align with each other, uh, how to ally, that is what how to ally with each other. Then. Now, I mean, if some the have South, been accused if, of, if the some South, other regions from having uh, special candidates, uh, even the Kesika Committee chairman, has been accused of having special candidates. Go to the that polls. That is what we're saying. Go to the polls. <laughs>